Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into the Warhammer 40k Commander deck, Tyranid Swarm. So this is the Collector Edition with the foil cards. So let's take a look at the back here. So we get a 100 card Surge Foil deck, 42 new cards, the Surge Foil Display Commander, 10 double-sided Surge Foil Token Cards, Deck Box, Life Rules, Strategy, Insert, and Reference Card. Let's get into it. So these are pretty pricey. They go for about $200 currently. I was able to pick it up from my LGS for about $180, so that's US dollars. There's also a cheaper non-foil version currently sitting around $60. Bucks. Or 70, I think. Uh, so there we go. Swarm Lord is the commander here. Let's take a look at what we get. A nice foil deck box with the Tyranids. And we've got the deck and everything else. And you'll notice there's some punch outs here, like they usually do with these commander decks. And let's take a look at the flyer here. So this has some artwork from the set. So a delightful Tyranid there for you. Are you a Tyranid fan? Leave a note in the comments. And then one of the other characters, I'm sure we'll find out who that is momentarily. Can hear some of you yelling it out already. And then we've got the life wheel here. This goes up to 40. And on the other side counts up to 20. So let's get to cracking. You will notice the surge foils. Unfortunately, they still curl a bit. So a little bit disappointed by that. I don't know what I was expecting, to be honest. Uh, we've got the display commander here, the Swarm Lord. So that's a thicker card stock. So this is not something you would shuffle into your deck purely for display. And let's get through to the land, so we'll set those aside and see what we've got. Okay, so the commander here, we have the Swarm Lord. It's a mythic, legendary creature, Tyranid 5546, with rapid regeneration. The Swarm Lord enters battlefield with two... Plus one, plus one counters on it for each time you've cast your commander from the command zone this game. And also <coughs> also has Xenos Cunning. Whenever a creature you control with a counter on it dies, draw a card. And some awesome foiling on these. Next up, okay, here's the other character. It's Magus Lucia Kane. Literary creature, human, tyranid, wizard, one, one, for four. Spiritual Leader. So at the beginning of combat on your turn, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. Also has Psychic Stimulus. Tap to add two colorless mana. And when you next cast a spell with X in its mana cost, or activate an ability with X in its activation cost this turn, copy that spell or ability. You may choose new targets for the copy. Alright, so we're copying spells here. Interesting. Next up, we've got Gene Stealer Locus, creature Tyranid Human 3 3 for 4 with Neurotromal Rod. Whenever a creature attacks you, it gets minus 1, minus 0 until end of turn, and whenever a creature attacks one of your opponents, it gets plus 0, plus 1 until end of turn. Harrowing visions, paralyzing pain, and terrifying brain spasms await those who challenge the cult. Okay, that is a delightful thing indeed. Next up, we got an Acolyte Hybrid Creature Tyranid Human 2-2 two, two for 3, Heavy Rock Cutter. So whenever Acolyte Hybrid attacks, destroy up to one target artifact. If an artifact is destroyed this way, its controller draws a card. Two obviously Xenos in form to blend into human society, the Acolytes haunt the dark places beneath industrial sprawls. <clears throat> Next up we've got Aberrant, so creature Tyranid Mutant 0, zero for X, 1 and green, has Ravenous, so this creature enters battlefield with X, plus 1, plus 1 counters on it, if X is 5 or more, draw a card when it enters, also has Trample and Heavy Power Hammer, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, destroy target artifact or enchantment that player controls. 
And Pure Strain Gene Stealer, Creature Tyranid 1-1 one, one for 3. So it enters battlefield with 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it, and has Vanguard Species. Whenever Pure Strain Gene Stealer attacks, you may remove a plus 1 plus 1 counter from it. If you do, search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle. Next up we've got Tyranid Invasion, Sorcery for 4. Create a number of 3-3 three, three green Tyranid Warrior Creature Tokens with Trample equal to the number of opponents you have. And lots of lore on these cards, so I'll let you read that. We'll be here all day if I read those. We've got Trigon Prime, 4-4 four, four, for 4. Creature Tyranid, it has Subterranean Assault. So whenever it attacks, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. And a plus one plus one counter and up to one other target attacking creature. That creature can't be blocked this turn. And Venom Throat, creature Tyranid 2-2 two, two for 3, has flying, death touch, and hexproof. That's pretty crazy. And next we have Goliath Truck, artifact vehicle 4-4 four, for four, 4 with stowage. Whenever it attacks, put two plus one plus one counters on another target attacking creature. And we have crew cost of two there. Etherize, instant for four, return all attacking creatures to their owner's hand. And inspiring call, instant for three, draw a card for each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it. Those creatures gain indestructible until end of turn. Okay, so we're taking advantage of all the counters we're generating here. Bread for the Hunt, enchantment for three. Whenever a creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. And Hull Breach, sorcery for two, choose one. Destroy target artifact, destroy target enchantment, destroy target artifact, and target enchantment. We've got Herald's Horn, so this is a nice reprint. Artifact for three, as it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Creature spells you cast of the chosen type cost one less to cast. So you're probably going to choose uh, Tyranids here. At the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library. If it's a creature card of the chosen type, you may reveal it and put it into your hand. We've got a Soul Ring. Okay, so they've got unique ones for each of these decks. We've got an artifact for one, tap for two, colorless. And that's pretty much a staple in every commander deck. We've got Ash Barons, it's a land tap for colorless, has basic land cycling one. And Frontier Bivouac, another land, and it's battlefield tap, tap for green, blue, or red. And Unclaimed Territory, as it enters battlefield, choose a creature type, tap it for colorless, or tap to add one mana of any color. Spend this mana only to cast a creature spell of the chosen type, and again, you're choosing Tyranids here. Cultivate Sorcery for 3, search your library for up to do basic land cards, reveal them, put one onto the battlefield tapped and the other into your hand, then shuffle. And Explore Sorcery for 2, you may play an additional land this turn, that's pretty cool. Draw a card. Farseek Sorcery for 2, search your library for a Plains Island Swamp or Mountain card, put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle. And Harrow. Instant for three, as an additional cost to cast a spell, sacrifice a land. Search your library for up to two basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield, then shuffle. And New Horizons, Enchantment Aura for three. Enchant land, when it enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. The enchanted land has tapped to add two mana of any one color. So again, we're doing the counter thing here. Overgrowth, Enchantment Aura for 3, Enchant Land. Whenever Enchanted Land is tapped for mana, its controller adds an additional 2 green. Okay, so I think we're going to be uh, ramping into some beefy creatures in this deck. We've got Rampant Growth, Sorcery for 2, Search Your Library for Basic Land Card, put it onto Battlefield, tap, then shuffle. Arcane Signet, another Commander Staple, Artifact for 2, tap to add 1 mana of any colour in your Commander's colour identity. Cave of Temptation, another land. Tap for colorless for one tap. Add one mana of any color or pay four tap. Sack it. Put two plus one plus one counters on target creature. Activate only as a sorcery. So I'm thinking this is going to be sort of like a stompy deck. We're going to have these massive creatures with counters all over them. We've got Command Tower. 
So land, tap to add one mana of any colour in your commander's colour identity. And Evolving Wilds. Tap, sack it, search your library for a basic land card, put it onto battlefield, tap, then shuffle. And Gene Stealer Patriarch, creature Tyranid 4 4 for 5, has Gene Stealer's Kiss. Whenever it attacks, put an infection counter on target creature defending player controls. And then it has Children of the Cult. Whenever a creature with an infection counter on it dies, you create a token that's a copy of that creature, except it's a Tyranid in addition to its other types. It's a pretty fiendish ability right there. Exocrine, creature Tyranid 2-2 two, two for X, 2 and a red, has Ravenous, and Bioplasmic Barrage. So when it enters the battlefield, it deals X damage to each player and to each other creature. The Red Terror, legendary creature Tyranid 4-3 for 4, four advanced species. Whenever a red source you control deals damage to one or more permanents and or players, put a plus on plus on counter on the Red Terror. And these guys are reminding me a little bit of slivers, just as far as the appearance. We've got Screamer Killer, creature Tyranid 5-5 five, five for 5 with Trample, has Bioplasmic Scream. Whenever you cast a creature spell with mana value 5 or greater, Screamer Killer deals 5 damage to any target. And Biophagus, creature Human Tyranid Wizard, it's quite a combo, 1-3 for 2. Has Genomic Enhancement, tap to add one mana of any colour. If this mana is spent to cast a creature spell, that creature enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it. And Bone Sabers, artifact equipment for three. Whenever a equipped creature attacks, put four plus one plus one counters on it. You can equip for three. And Broodlord, creature Tyranid, three three for X, three and a green. Also has Ravenous. And Brood Telepathy, when it enters the battlefield, distribute X plus one plus one counters among any number of other target creatures you control. And Clamavas, creature human tyranid artificer 3-3 three, three for 5, has Proclamator Hailer. Each creature you control gets plus one plus one for each plus one plus one counter on it. And Haru Specs, creature tyranid 2-2 two, two for 4. Rapacious Hunger, whenever another creature dies, put a plus one plus one counter on Haru Specs. Also has Devouring Monster, tap, remove X, plus one plus one counters from it. You get to add X mana of any one colour. Okay, so we're about halfway through the deck here. What else do we have? We've got Hierophant Bio Titan, creature Tyranid, 12, 12 for 12. Okay, that's where all your mana's going. Has Frenzied Metabolism. As an additional cost cast this spell, you may remove any number of plus one plus one counters from among creatures you control. The spell costs two less to cast for each counter removed this way. Okay, so you're going to make him a bit cheaper that way. Vigilance, Reach, and Ward, two. So if your opponent wants to target this guy, they have to pay two. Has Titanic. Hierophant, Biotitan, can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. So no chump blocking for you. And Hormagaunt Horde, creature Tyranid, 1-1 one, one for X and a green, has Ravenous and Endless Swarm. Whenever a land enters the food under your control, you may pay 2 and a green if you do return Hormagaunt Horde from your graveyard to your hand. And Lictor, creature Tyranid, 3-3 three, three for 4 with Flash, also has Pheromone Trail. So when it enters the food, if a creature enters the battlefield under an opponent's control, this turn, create a 3-3 green Tyranid Warrior creature token with Trample. And Nexos, creature human Tyranid Advisor 2-2 two, two for 2, has Strategic Coordinator. So basic lands you control have tap to add 2 colorless, spend this mana only to, on costs that contain X. So this is how you're uh, going to be ramping up to those huge creatures. Old One-Eye, legendary creature Tyranid 6-6 six, six for 6 with Trample. Other creatures you control have Trample, that's craziness. When it enters the battlefield, create a 5-5 green Tyranid creature token. Has fast healing. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, you may discard two cards if you do. Return Old One-Eye from your graveyard to your hand. And Sporocyst, creature Tyranid 0-0 for X. X and a green has Ravenous and Defender. Spore Chimney, what on earth? When it enters the battlefield, search your library for up to X basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle. 
And Termagant Swarm, creature Tyranid 0 0 for X and a green, also has Ravenous, also has Death Frenzy here. When Termagant Swarm dies, create a number of 1 1 green Tyranid creature tokens equal to Termagant Swarm's power. And Turvagon, creature Tyranid 0 0 for X, 1 and green, also with Ravenous, has Trample and Spawn Termagants. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, create that many 1 1 green Tyranid creature tokens. And Toxicrine, creature Tyranid 2 4 for 4 with Reach and Death Touch, has Hypertoxic Miasma. All lands have tap to add one mana of any color and lose all other abilities. And Tyrant Guard, creature Tyranid 3 3 for X, 2 and a green with Ravenous, also has Shield Wall, so sacrifice it. Creatures you control with counters on them gain hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. And Atalan Jackal, creature human tyranid scout, 2-2 two, two for 3. Trample and haste, looks like a bit of a Mad Max thing going on there. Skilled Outrider, whenever Atalan Jackal deals combat damage to a player, you may search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield, tap, then shuffle. So again, more ramping goodness. We got Death Leaper Terror Weapon, legendary creature Tyranid 3 3 for 4 with Flash and Haste. Also has Flesh Hooks. Creatures you control that enter the battlefield this turn have Double Strike. And the first Tyranic War. So this is an enchantment saga. On the first turn, you may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. If its mana cost contains X, which is pretty much everything in this deck. It enters the battlefield with a number of plus one plus one counters on it equal to the number of lands you control. That is insane. Okay, second and third turns. Double the number of each kind of counter on target creature you control. Okay, that's going to get really out of hand. We got Gargoyle Flock. Creature Tyranid Gargoyle 2-2 two, two for 4 with flying. Has Sky Swarm at the beginning of your end. Step of a creature enter the battlefield under your control this turn. Create a 1-1 one, one blue Tyranid Gargoyle Creature Token with Flying. <clears throat> and we've got Gerson Stan Kellermorph. The Drain Creature Tyranid Human 3-2 three, for 3 with Ward 2 and 3 Auto Stubs. Whenever another source you control deals exactly 1 damage to a permanent or player, Gerson Stan Kellermorph deals 2 damage to that permanent or player. Malanthrope Creature Tyranid 2-2 two, two for 3 with Flying. And scavenge the dead. When it enters battlefield, exile target player's graveyard. Put a plus one plus one counter on Malanthrope for each creature card exiled this way. So this would uh, go well against the um, the other deck we looked at the other day. The first one with these guys, the uh, Necrons. Morlock creature Tyranid two two for X red and green. It has Ravenous. And Terror from the Deep. When it enters battlefield, it fights up to one target creature and opponent controls. If that creature would die this turn, exile it instead. And Ravena, creature Tyranid 0 0 for X, green and blue with Flash and Ravenous. When Ravena enters battlefield, target creature attacks target opponent this turn if able. And Shadow in the Warp, enchantment for three. First creature spell you cast each turn costs two less to cast. Someone of an opponent casts their first. Non-creature spell each turn, Shadow in the Warp deals 2 damage to that player. Tyranid Haradon, creature Tyranid 4-4 four, four for 6, with Flying and Ward 4, has Shrieking Gargoyles. So whenever it or another Tyranid you control deals combat damage to a player, create a 1-1 one, one blue Tyranid Gargoyle creature token with Flying. So I imagine we're going to have tons of those tokens here. Tyranid Prime, creature Tyranid 0, 4 for 3 with Evolve. So whenever a creature enters battlefield under your control, if that creature is greater power or toughness than this creature, put a plus one plus one counter on this creature. Has Synapse Creature, other creatures you control have Evolve. Craziness. And Winged Hive Tyrant, creature Tyranid 4, 4 for 5, flying in haste. The Will of the Hive Mind, other creatures you control with counters on them. Have flying and haste, so everything is geared around the counters. We've got Zoanthrope, creature Tyranid, 0, zero for X, blue and red. It has Ravenous, flying and ward 2, and warp blast. When it enters the battlefield, it deals X damage to any target. And Starstorm, instant for X and 2 red. It deals X damage to each creature, cycle it for 3. 
and Abundance. Enchantment for four. If you draw a card, you may instead choose land or non-land. And reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a card of the chosen kind. Put that card into your hand and put all other cards revealed this way on the bottom of your library in any order. And Death's Presence. Enchantment for six. Whenever a creature you control dies, put X plus one plus one counters on target creature you control, where X is the power of the creature that died. And Hardened Scales, so this is a reprint, different artwork. Enchantment for a green. If one or more plus one plus one counters would be put on a creature you control, that many plus one plus one plus one counters are put on it instead. And Icon of Ancestry, Artifact for three. As it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Creatures you control of the chosen type get plus one plus one. And for three, tap. Look at the top three cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card of the chosen type from among them, put it into your hand, put the rest on the bottom of your library in any or in a random order. Okay, so that's the bulk of the deck. Let's take a look at the lands here. We have Cinderglade, so tap for red or green, enters the battlefield tapped unless you control two or more basic lands. We've got Exotic Orchard. Tap to add one mana of any colour the land an opponent controls could produce. And Game Trail. As it enters the battlefield, you may reveal a mountain or forest card from your hand. If you don't, it enters the battlefield tapped. Tap for red or green. And Temple of Abandon. Enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, scry one. Tap for red or green. And Temple of Epiphany. Another one that enters tapped. When it enters the battlefield, scry one. Tap for blue or red. And Temple of Mystery enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, scry one, tap for green or blue. And Opal Palace. Tap for colourless for one tap. Add one mana of any colour in your commander's colour identity. If you spend this mana to cast your commander, it enters the battlefield with a number of additional plus one plus one counters are equal to the number of times it's been cast from the command zone this game. And Path of Ancestry enters the battlefield tapped. Tap to add one mana of any colour in your commander's colour identity. And when that mana is spent to cast a creature spell that shares a creature type with your commander, scry one. We've got Rugged Highlands enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, you gain one life. Tap for red or green. And Terramorphic Expanse. Tap and suck it. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle. Thornwood Falls, so this one enters tapped. When it enters the battlefield, you gain one life. Tap for green or blue. And then a whole bunch of basics here. Seven mountains. Seven islands. And eight forests. Okay, so now let's take a look at the tokens here. Should have tons of Tyranid tokens. So we've got a 1-1 one, one Tyranid. And on the other side, we've got a Tyranid Gargoyle, 1-1 one, one with flying. Okay, so we're going to have tons of those. So let's see, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, so they're all the same there. And parts of your turn and popular magic formats. And one more thing I noticed, some of these tokens I skipped over. So we've got the 1-1 one, one Tyranid. We've actually got 3-3 three, three Tyranid Warrior with Trample on the other side. So that's a difference for some of these. So I think we had three of those guys. And then we've also got one with a 5-5 five, five Tyranid on the other side. All right, so hopefully that clarifies any confusion about that. Leave a note in the comments what you think of these decks. This one looks really fun. One for uh, people who like those stompy green decks with giant creatures doing tons of damage. And stay tuned. Coming up, we've got one more of the Commander decks for Warhammer 40k to go. So that'll be up later today. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.